welcome to Find Your Balance. We're going to give you some tips to help with that feeling of the rocking, the swaying, the feeling that your body is sort of on a boat, um, your eyes are swimming, your eyes are floating, your neck feels like your, bo your head is going in different directions, and even you might not feel your feet are going with the rest of your body. Some simple little exercise that you can do on your own. You can maybe do them independent of your exercise, but some little help alongs. Um, and you can do these in conjunction or in separate of your daily um, other exercises again, or you can do these exercises all together or in stages. So one little exercise to do is a lot of times people with this diagnosis may feel their eyes feel very overwhelmed or swimming or feel dizzy when they look around. There's an exercise where you actually take like a stick or a pencil, not sharpened, and just have your eyes track the pencil. Keep your head still and follow it up like you're doing a cross, all different directions. This will actually, this visual tracking, your head stays still, just your eyes are following this motion. Try to keep it maybe out arm length apart, even go up in two different directions, down and up, do this numerous times. So the video I'm just doing for a very condensed period of time, but you might do this maybe five times, 20 times, 30 times a day. Over and over again. That's one exercise to do. Another one is because of the neck muscle tightening and locking, people often can develop a thing called cervical vertigo where the neck muscles send very confusing messages to your brain, not telling you where you're going in space. Your neck tells your brain where you're going. And so really just trying to maintain range of motion of your neck side to side. You might feel a little dizzy, a little nauseated just by doing that, a little queasy. Bend your, turn your head side to side, head forward and back. You might feel a little restriction, a little tightness. You might find it like you cannot go as much to one side. If you feel like you're restricted, keep your arms crossed. And you might even want to, if you feel that way, put your hands cross on a tabletop or a bar top so the weight of your arms are not holding. That way the weight of your arms are not being um, held by your body. It will make your neck have more range of motion. It will create more motion. So turn side to side side to side, rotating forward and back, side to side. Do this as many times as you want. You can do this every time you maybe do a text message, every time you check an email, numerous times in the day. Another one is actually to find your balance. A simple exercise to do is when you stand, just get a sense of feeling your feet touch the floor. Eyes, eyes open, hands open, looking forward into the world. Sometimes in yoga, this is called the mountain pose. Just feel your body touching. You might want to actually slow your breath down. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And just really feel your feet touching the floor. You might feel some discomfort. You might feel some comfort. You might feel the balls of your feet touching the ground, your body rocking. You might actually want to rock your body back and forth. But just get a sense of this. You might be barefooted but just get the sense of your body touching the floor. The next exercise that we'll do is using this chair is to, a solid chair, and is to find your balance. So put your hands on the chair and then feet somewhat close together and close your eyes. By closing your eyes, you're really relying on the balance centers from your feet going to your brain telling where you are in space, all those receptors in your neck, telling where you're going, and try to maintain some stillness. Again, you can do this numerous times through the day. You might just complete this whole video and do this every day after your workout, before your workout, or at separate times, independent of the other exercise workouts, or maybe two or three times a week, but this can help you. And if you're feeling adventuresome, try to take your hands off the chair and try to find your balance.
Okay, the last exercise is going to be, some of you might know this, who do some yoga, is like a tree pose. A tree pose can be as simple as you might actually have your hand on the chair, lift one leg up, hand on the chair. Some of you might actually put your leg cross, and again, if you have some joint restrictions, heart mobility issues, you might be not able to do this. You might cross your leg and put your, your leg on your inner calf. You might let go. Try to hold as long as you can. Find your balance. If you get nervous or concerned, hold back to your chair. And if you can, try to go up a little higher. Hold it. If you can, let go. Bring it to the, the, the foot up to the thigh. Hold it. And if you can, hands on the chest. And if you can, hands up to the sky. You'll do this on both legs. Same maneuver. We'll try to do the same thing again on each side. In summary, these are exercises you can do separately as one exercise set, just called Find Your Balance. This is not a substitute for the other more cardiovascular aerobic exercise. This is to really help that sense of dizziness off balance 